The San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce is here to help you if you have a local business or if you're even thinking about starting ones. It works as a policy advocate and helps connect businesses to each other as well as important resources. Uh, joining us live as she does every Monday is Stephanie Benvenuto, the Vice President of Public Affairs for the Chamber. She's not a fan of Wordle, don't ask her, but she is a fan of local businesses. How are you doing today, Stephanie? I'm good. Thanks for the disclaimer. I, I had to put that up there. Okay, this is cool to start with today. San Diego and Tijuana have been chosen for a big regional honor, this design honor. Tell us, what the, what's this all about and why is it important? So we're the first binational region to ever be designated by the World, uh, World Design Forum. And it's a year-long designation that's going to put us and our entire binational business scene on the global stage where we get to showcase that the way you design a community, the way you design solutions around problems can really impact the outcome here. For example, the way that we've designed our cross-border economy is completely driven by our cross-border workforce, our binational workforce that makes it so special. And in a time like now where people are maybe a little stressed and maybe getting a lot of bad news and drawing lines around each other, this is a really good time to put San Diego's economy by national stage, by national presence in front of everybody. Yeah, it's something that I think a lot of people in this region may may not pay enough attention to personally. It's we are intertwined in some very good ways. We only hear about the bad sometimes. Uh, Stephanie, mm -hmm. workforce issues are always front and center. They're a big issue. One of those is child care. The city of San Diego is taking some innovative steps to try to help out. What are they doing there? Yeah, the city of San Diego is actually stepping into one of the big voids we have in child care. And most people, if you've got kids, know that it's a real challenge to find accessible, safe, and affordable childcare. It's about $1,000 per month per infant if you're looking for infant care. That's a pretty cost prohibitive thing. So the city of San Diego recognizing that one of the big problems is just sheer supply. We don't have enough childcare. Ask the uh, city staff to do a report and look at which properties the city has that they could turn into possible child care, child care spots in the future. And that's really great because if you have a child care need, you know that it's not fixed unless that child care is accessible to you. So child care for somebody in Otai is not going to matter if that spot opens up way up in Kearney Mesa, mm -hmm. right? It's right. got to be near work. It's got to be near our family, our support system. So this could be a real key key movement in addressing the supply question that we're all dealing with here. Yeah, and when we look at labor shortages, well, it's, it's hard to get out of the house and work if you don't have a affordable way to take care of your child. Uh, speaking of affordability, we know San Diego, when it comes to living, is not. It, it seems to keep getting worse. City of San Diego, once again, trying to do some things on that front to help out businesses and employers. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think what we're coming down to is the fact that the cost of living in San Diego can sometimes be really hard, and that is both on the child care side as well as our housing side. So, Mayor Gloria has presented a, a package of housing policies. Basically, the whole point of this is to get more housing built at price points that are affordable for the workforce and those who are maybe struggling to earn enough money to stay in San Diego. As he should, this is a huge issue for employers. We have a housing shortage, and that means, one, demand has Prices absolutely skyrocketing. In San Diego County, the median price for a home is $750,000. That's great if you've owned your home forever. Basically, for everybody else, that's not such a good no, selling no. point right now. That's cost prohibitive. Two, puts pressure on employers that are trying to keep people here. And three, it crunches that workforce that is just trying to grow wealth and envision themselves in San Diego in a way that they can be here long term. So those reforms hopefully are going to help nip away at the issue of not having enough housing, just like earlier trying to nip away at not having enough child care, we can really invest in the future families of San Diego. Stephanie, almost out of time. This is the, the point in the interviews where you roll your eyes at me. I like to call this the chamber of not so secrets. I assume you're a Harry Potter fan, but uh, funding funding sources for businesses, possible access to capital. What's out there? Yes, I am a Harry Potter fan. I was designated a Hufflepuff and I hurt my feelings. But <laughs> there is a 10-page document with funding opportunities from GoBiz, and it's called the GoBiz California Comeback Fight. Come back, guys. It just went live. You've got to check it out. Ten full pages of funding opportunities when they're available. Who you need to talk to. This is huge, right? If you're looking for money and you can't find the email address or the phone phone number, that can be so disorienting. Huge, huge document. You've got to check it out. Go Biz California Comeback Guide. It's available online. Very easy to find. Very useful. Stephanie Benvenuto with the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce. You scream Gryffindor to me. I don't know. Thanks for Thank joining you. us on this Monday. We'll see you again next week, as always. Bye.